All right, guys, welcome back. Um, after we have access um, to our RESTful API, we need to go ahead and install a, few, a couple of tools that is going to make our development life a lot easier. The first tool, the most important one, is the um, Gulp. And if you hear a lot about uh, package managers and JavaScript, they're becoming more and more popular as these client-side frameworks like React and um, and Node and other other things, um, Angular, become more popular. So having a package manager um, makes your life easier. And we're going to be using Gulp. Um, so Gulp, what it, what it primarily, what we're going to use it for is for minimizing our CSS and JavaScript. So we had gone over the development structure of our of our website that we're building right now. We have a static folder that's being uh, served by a server that's um, well equipped to handle static content. So we have all this stuff confined in one single static folder, like our CSS or JavaScript. Um, our images will eventually be added. In fact, they should be there. So let's go ahead and upload our images. Uh, to this directory and what I want to do is I want to create a, an, another directory on the server which we're going to call uh, build and build is what's going to end up storing um, what the fuck This thing's giving me a problem for some reason. There it goes. I, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was FileZilla just not working and just crapping out, so I restarted it. All right, so I created the um, the build folder, and inside this build folder, I want to create files that we're going to use in production, which we're going to have images, um, JS, CSS. Uh, that's good for right now. All right, so let's go ahead and download that again. So now locally build has all that crap. And um let's see here. Alright, so to be able to install Gulp, um what we need to do is we need to go to our uh directory where we want the um Gulp modules and things to sit, which is gonna be our static folder, that's what we had talked about before. And I'm gonna go ahead and run a command so I don't um mistype it, but um we're gonna type um a few commands here actually. We're going to go ahead and install Gulp first, and we're going to use um, our sudo command and then npm install. Now, if you don't have npm install, what you need to do is you need to actually install um, Node.js. Node.js comes with npm. If you've used Python like pip install um, or NuGet with C Sharp, um, npm is, is like the same thing, but it handles uh, installs a lot easier. So uh, we're going to run the sudo install Gulp and then two hyphens save dev. So hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm going to change the settings just so you guys can see a little bit easier. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this command. And that's going to install Gulp for us. Now there's a couple of modules. Um, since we're going to be using Gulp to minimize our CSS and also our JavaScript, we need to install two additional modules, which we're going to do that by saying... Um, gulp, uh, so sudo npm install save dev and then gulp uglify and that's going to be our javascript minimizer and then we're going to do it one more time for our css so I'm going to go to the right command yeah it's this one so sudo npm install save dev and then space gulp minify css all right so now that we've done that let's go ahead and um we need to create a javascript file at the root of our static directory which we're already in that now but i'm going to do that with our uh, sublime text editor here so i'm going to create a new file i'm actually I'm already in a new file and uh, let's just go ahead and save this as and it's going to go in the static file of our music folder, and we're going to call this uh, gulpfile.js. All right, and I'm going to copy in some statements here because I don't want to misspell anything. So for starters, we need to be able to use gulp in our gulp file. So we're going to bring in a variable named gulp, and we're going to say require gulp. Now we're going to do um, the same thing to use our minify css library that we just uh, installed as well so we're, we're going to call that minify css 
and we're going to end up um, requiring Gulp Minify CSS and we just installed that so hopefully that makes sense and then we're going to also use our um, Uglify for minimizing our JavaScript. The idea is that in order to keep things sane we want to be able to develop in JavaScript in a um, standard development folder which uh, I just put it in the static JavaScript folder and that's where I'm going to store everything um, when I do React um, code and stuff like that but when I want that to be minified um, when it's delivered to the customer anytime I can shave a few megabytes or uh, kilobytes off of uh, a tra transfer if you start having thousands or millions of customers it makes a huge deal so you want to minify your CSS meaning remove all the white space and condense it all down into like an unreadable format but the browser can read it just fine it's less that it has to download so it makes things quicker but it's it's a pain in the ass to have to take a file if you've done um, you've worked on it and then have to minimize it and then upload it and do all this crap and it's much easier to just add the the single command type you know minify and then have gulp handle the minification process and take it from your development folders and then put it into your build folders and have you know your production environment point into your build so hopefully that'll make more sense once you start messing with minifying your own stuff and having to upload and all that headache you'll realize that gulp is a huge um, benefit alright so uh, first things first we're going to go ahead and create a gulp task which is going to handle the minification of our CSS now there's a similar project I have for movies um, but I'm going to change this to music since that's what we're working on but what we have here is we have um, gulp saying minify CSS is the name of the task and then it's a function so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to go to a directory that you choose and by using the star.css it's going to find all the CSS files that are in this um, directory and then it's going to go ahead and, and minify them using the module that we just installed up here and then it's going to output the minimized file to an outputted um, build folder which we've declared in our static folder you guys saw me do that at the beginning of the video so that's going to be our minimize CSS task and let's go ahead and do the same thing for our JavaScript I'm going to change this again alright and now in order to call multiple tasks with uh, a single command we want to lump these two tasks into a single task that we're going to define down below and we're going to call the task minify so go up that task minify and then you feed it a list and the list just consists of the two tasks that we just created here and there could be 15 of them if you wanted but we only have two so at the single launch of minify it'll run both of these tasks now in order to see this thing in action we need to go ahead and create a uh, fake JavaScript file so we're just gonna uh, put this in our regular build JavaScript folder so that's gonna be in the standard JavaScript folder and we'll just call this test file .js. and here I just want to put some comments Alright, so here's um, you know, just some standard comments. Pre pretend that this thing is like a huge file or whatever, and we want to see that this thing then gets minimized. And in order to do that, let me go ahead and upload that. So on the server, you'll see that the JavaScript file is there. And we also have the build folder is empty. And if everything goes well, when we upload our gulp task file, we'll run the command um, from the static folder and if everything goes well it'll take this JavaScript file and it'll put it in the build directory under the JavaScript and everything will be minimized so let's go ahead and see if that works so go to your shell wherever your static folder is and um, make sure you can see the gulp file there so we're gonna run a command gulp and then minify and if you remember that minify is the name of the command that we use to um, yeah, minify right there. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. All right, so you can see that it actually ran both of them, minify CSS, uglify, and let's see if it actually saved to the folder. Hopefully there's not going to be any permission issues or anything. So if I go into my build and my JavaScript, and there it is. So I refresh that, and you can see that the 
text files there it's 40 um, kilobytes and let's look at how much it was before it minimized you can see it was 101 so it actually reduced it by more than half so let's go ahead and um, download the build directory and we'll take a look at it locally and you can see all that stuff just got condensed into one tiny line it took out the comments and everything for us because that's not needed for a production environment so it's a very very convenient way um, of just by simply installing that module creating a command line uh, that can take all the dev stuff and then put it into a production environment so in our Django website we're simply going to be pointed to for uh, any sort of you know customer base or anything it's going to be pointed to the the build and we'll probably do like an if statement like if my admin username is you know logged in or whatever deliver the you know the, the development version but all the other customers can get the production version which is minified and all that stuff so makes things a lot easier so that is how we're going to use gulp and that's really there's a lot more that gulp can do in fact it can minimize your images like re reduce um, file sizes of them and things and um, that's actually easy we might end up doing that in a later video it's something I did on uh, my new movies website uh, but gulp is great for that I actually lumped it into the same task but for right now for what we're doing we're just gonna have the minimize CSS and minimize JavaScript which will make things a lot easier so now let's go ahead and move on to the next um, big tool that we're going to use and that's actually going to be Bower and I actually want to do a separate video for that because I don't want to lump these two in, into the same video but Bower is going to handle um, a lot of our uh, libraries and things that we're going to use like React, jQuery and I'll explain more of that in the next video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.